sensor fusion enablement, a tracking event service, and motion video fusion change detection. This presentation demonstrates SWE service enhancements that increase its capability. There are three areas where these enhancements were implemented. Dynamic sensor tracking and notification through a tracking event service, TES. Motion video fusion through a real-time video change detection service, VCDS. And a CCSI SWE best practice candidate. This presentation focuses on the tracking event service and video change detection service. The SWE enhancements are exercised through the following scenario. A vehicle is planning to travel from point A to point B. The exact route is not predefined due to the dynamic nature of the area. The vehicle has a forward pointing color video camera, the same camera used on many vehicles deployed in this operational area of Huntsville. During the past several days, these cameras have been used to capture video surveillance of high risk routes around the area. There is now a sufficient collection of archived videos to test the new VCDS recently installed on the vehicle. This VCDS includes a video catalog, SWE client, tracking event service, TES, and the change detection, WPS. An OGC standards-based catalog service for discovery and planning. Sensor observation services for videos and their tracks. Tracking event services based on either a sensor alert service or sensor event service used to indicate when the simulated vehicle has intersected with the pre-selected historical track. And a web processing service that executes the change detection program. The scenario begins by selecting the area of interest. Due to the impracticality of demonstrating this scenario in a more applicable area, such as Afghanistan, our demo area will be Huntsville, Alabama. The operator searches the catalog for Huntsville. Several results for SOSs are returned. There are several SOSs that display historical video tracks created by previous vehicle runs. These tracks contain the associated imagery, GPS location, and other related information necessary to execute a change detection process. These sensor observation services and AOI are loaded into the SWE client. The tracks from these SOSs are now displayed. In this case, most of archived tracks are on the same route. The tracks are differentiated by different colors to increase visibility. In this mission, the vehicle will travel through this area. The vehicle operator reviews the candidate videos and makes selections. This selection can be based on video quality, time of day, age of capture, etc. When a track is selected, the archived video is displayed. The operator reviews the video and metadata for each track and decides on a suitable track to be used for the change detection. This track is selected to be monitored in the tracking event service. 
For each track, the SWE client builds a geometry representing the buffered historical track. The operator selects the historical track and then selects the monitor button. A buffer area is generated around the track. The buffer is used as the intersection point, ensuring the operator is notified before the vehicle crosses the actual archived video track. The vehicle's camera sensor is registered with the TES so that it can monitor the vehicle's position. The live vehicle is chosen. The operator then subscribes for alerts through the TES. This implementation also allows definition of additional search criteria based on the observation properties but are unnecessary for this demonstration. In addition, this implementation supports several notification formats and result recipients. For this demonstration, CAP will be selected as the notification method and HTTP as the result recipient. After the subscription is processed, the historical track information and associated subscription ID is stored in the database. When an alert is triggered, this data, along with the data returned by the mobile sensor, will initiate the change detection process. The SWE client will receive the alert notification and executing an appropriate action. The vehicle now heads out on the mission. For demonstration purposes, a simulated real-time tracking of the vehicle is shown on the SWE client. The location of the mobile sensor is continuously retrieved by the tracking event service. In this implementation, the Sensor Observation Service is polled via a Get Latest Observation request. The SWE client is the recipient of the TES alert notification. It receives the alert notification in CAP format, parses this information, and provides a visual notification on the map. The operator clicks the visual notification, providing the ability to initiate the video change detection process. A change detection page displays the video for the archive track that the mobile sensor has intersected. It also displays the current live mobile track video. This allows the operator to calibrate the video images by changing the brightness, contrast, etc. Once the videos have been calibrated, the user would select the Subscribe for Change Detection to initiate the Change Detection service.